All right, Josh, I'm going to teach you how to have three microphones, two microphones. I can count two microphones and the computer audio, which makes three, all playing at the same time or all recording at the same time on separate tracks. So you can mix however you want and not worry about it overriding each other. So what we're going to do is have this handy dandy app open, Voice Meter Banana. That's our virtual mixing board. I just run my Rode mic through it so that it has better sounding, has like EQ and everything. Not necessary, but makes it sound better. So this hardware input one is the road mic. The second one you could do the microphone, the other one. But the only thing is it will record it onto the same audio track. So then you can't separate the two microphone inputs. So I would not suggest doing that. But for A1, which correlates to the road mic, it's a KBV audio, KSVB audio point. And this one obviously is not selected to anything because I don't want that mic outputting and flapping with the road. But you have that and then you just have the normal mic right here. And if I bring OBS over, you can see I've got the Logitech mic and the virtual cable mic. The virtual cable is the road mic. That's what voice meter banana is called. And then the Logitech mic is just obviously the Logitech mic. If I talk into it, you can see it spiking. And if I talk back into the road mic, you see that one spiking. So up in file, you're going to go to settings and output for recording. Audio tracks one, two, and three are all clicked. It's also an MKV format. So if you come over here, Remember, so right now OBS is exporting audio tracks one, two, and three only. They're not doing four, five, and six. So if I come here, the road mic is set to first track, desktop two, and Logitech three. Make sure the road mic is on one or the Logitech mic is on one because when you preview the filing it exports, the only audio that's going to be playing is from the first track until you bring it into Premiere. So if you just want to preview the audio, and it's set to desktop, it's going to be silent or it's just going to be whatever desktop is playing. So you're not crazy. The audio did record. You just don't get all. You only play the first track. It doesn't play every single track that's recorded until you bring it in to something that can separate the three tracks and play them all independently. So once you bring it into Premiere, it will be OK. But in order to bring it into Premiere, it does not support the MKV format that we're recording in. And that is done I don't know why it's MKV, but if you go to output and recording and switch it off MTV to MP4, it gives an, a warning, like, don't do this. Like, if you're power out or something, you lose all the, you know, recording, and it's not a big hassle to switch. So all you do is remux, remu recordings. You can just literally take whatever file you want, drag it in. And it will just, you click, you click it, hit remove, boom, done. Took two seconds and now it's in the MP4 format, which Premiere can use. So if you open up Premiere and then bring back this, you will see this is the one I just did, is in the MP4 format, whereas this one is in the MKV format. So if I take this one, drag it into Premiere, We'll see it has the video. That was actually the first take of this. <laughs> so your audio tracks here are. So this one is the top one is desktop, which I switched to the microphone. The second one is the Rode mic. And then this bottom one is the Logitech mic. You see all three can mix them all you want. They're recorded all independently. Then you also have the video on top of that. Wow. You have three audio inputs while also having them on separate tracks.